The charity Save the Children has turned down a £750,000 donation from a company involved in fossil fuels. So apparently, children don't need saving. They literally should call themselves Don't Save the Children. I'm sure the kids lying under rubble in Mariupol or those being bombed as they attempt to flee Ukraine are absolutely delighted that Save the Children has taken a moral stance on fossil fuels. They care more about sustainable energy than sustaining children's lives. The irony is that Save the Children is actually now blaming children for their decision. Get this. A spokesperson said, We've changed our policy following a lead given by children all over the world who've protested about the threat the climate crisis poses to their future. What absolute, complete and utter nonsense. Go and ask those children campaigning for climate action whether or not they would actually want other children to miss out on funding because of their actions. It's disgraceful. Charity should have a singular purpose, a single objective, to help their chosen demographic. It's not as if a neo-Nazi organisation was offering them cash, is it? We're talking about Neptune Energy here, an international oil and gas exploration production company. Save the Children International CEO, Inga Ashing, earned £190,000 in 2020, apparently. It's nice work if you can get it, isn't it? I bet Inga, maybe, if she has children, I reckon they're probably quite safe, don't you? Perhaps they could donate the next four years of her salary to make up for this ridiculous decision to virtue signal about the big green agenda at the expense of actually looking after vulnerable children fleeing war. But of course, quarter of a million quid is small change compared to some other charity bosses. Steve Gray at Nuffield Health, pay range. 840 grand to 850 grand. What is it about the highly lucrative job role that made you want to go into the charity sector, Mr Gray? I wonder. Jeremy Farrar, Welcome Trust, pay 456,000 big ones. Simon Cook, Marie Stokes International, pay 435,000 pounds. David Miliband, do you remember him? He's a former Labour MP who got mugged off by his brother, so he left the country to coin in £768,000 a year fronting up International Rescue Committee. Yeah, well, they also offer unpaid internships, which is not very charitable, if you ask me. But back to the cancellation of donations. Britney Spears' sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, she offered to donate some of the proceeds from her forthcoming memoir to mental health organisation This Is My Brave, but was turned down after a few idiots online raised concerns over her role in her sister's conservatorship. Again, I'm sure those people at risk of suicide as a result of their mental health problems will be eternally grateful. Something similar happened a bit closer to home too. Two of our country's leading private schools turned down a £1 million scholarship donation for white boys from impoverished families to go and get a first-class education. Working-class white boys are usually some of the worst performing in schools. They're often the most in need of a leg up, in need of help. Yet Dulwich College and Winchester College turned down the gift from the philanthropist Sir Brian Thwaites over fears that it would break equality laws. Well, that's strange, isn't it? That's strange, because there doesn't seem to be the same issue with Stormzy scholarship for black students at Cambridge. In fact, big corporations were queuing up to come on board with that. HSBC UK pledged two million quid to support 30 new Stormzy scholars at the University of Cambridge over the next three years. I suppose working-class, underprivileged, vulnerable white boys just don't tick the right boxes, do they? And even when certain charities receive the money, there are serious question marks about what they do with it. Oxfam, for example, wanted to reach out and touch the lives of children. Unfortunately, some of their aid workers took that rather too literally in Haiti. Look, when it comes to save the children, the time for virtue signalling is when children have actually been saved. The children of Ukraine, Syria, etc. They need all the help they can get. They absolutely don't need an overpaid CEO to take a moral stand on fossil fuels, especially when phosphorus gas bombs might be about to start falling from the sky.